Hi guys! Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano hanapin ang GCF at LCM ng numbers using listing method. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Meron na akong video tungkol sa paghahanap ng GCF at LCM ng numbers. Pero ang process na ginamit natin doon ay yung general method. So anyway, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about that, ay pwede nyo muna itong panoorin para mas magkaroon kayo ng background sa GCF and LCM. So sa video na to, another method naman yung gagamitin natin sa paghanap ng GCF at LCM. Yun nga yung listing method. So from the word itself, listing method, ililista lang natin yung factors at multiples ng mga numbers na hinahanapan natin ng GCF at LCM. Then from that, observe natin for GCF, hanapin lang natin yung pinakamalaking common factor ng numbers. And then for LCM naman, hanapin lang natin yung pinakamaliit na common multiple ng numbers. So, advantageous yung listing method na gamitin kapag yung mga numbers na hinahanapan natin ng GCF at LCM ay maliliit lang. Pero kung malalaki na yung mga numbers, mas maganda na gamitin natin yung general method para mas madali nating makuha yung GCF at LCM. So, illustrate natin first gamit yung mga maliliit na numbers at hanapin natin yung GCF at LCM nila. So, for example, find the GCF and LCM of 6, 12, and 18. So, the first step is to list all the factors and multiples of the numbers. So, for GCF first, uh, listen natin yung factors ng 6, 12, and 18. So, for 6, we have factors of 1 and 6, right? And 2 and 3. For 12, we have factors of 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. For 18, we have factors of 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. And then, after nating malis lahat ng factors ng numbers, observe natin yung mga common sa kanila. So, meron tayong 2 right. At meron din tayong 6. Since GCF yung hinahanap natin, which is the greatest common factor, pipiliin natin yung common na pinakamalaki, which is 6. So therefore, using listing method, nakita natin na 6 yung pinakamalaking common factor nila. So that is our GCF. For LCM naman, list naman natin yung multiples ng 6, 12, and 18. So, sa 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, etc. Sa 12, we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, etc. 18, we have 18, 36, 54, 72, Cetera. So again, observe naman natin yung pinakamaliit na multiple na common sa na-list nating mga multiples ng numbers. So, ang pinakamaliit ay 36, right? Since yun yung unang naging common sa kanila. So therefore, ang LCM ng 6, 12, at 18 Using the listing method, I 36. Now, let's try to have an example where we are given large numbers. For example, so find the GCF and LCM of 16, 24, and 36. So again, the first step is to list the factors of 16, 24, and 36 for finding the GCF. So 16, 24, 36. The factors of 16 are 1, 16, 2, 8, 4, 4, 
24 we have 1 24 2 12 3 8 4 6 for 36 we have 1 36 2 18 what else 3 12 4 and 9 then we take note dun sa mga common factors nila we have 2 and 4 and since we are looking for the greatest common factor ang pipiliin natin ay 4 so GCF natin is 4 for LCM this naman natin yung mga multiples ng 16, 24, and 36. So, we have 16, 32, 48, 64, 80. Check natin kung meron ng common sa iba. So, 24, we have 24, 48, 72, 96 120 144 Back tayo sa 16 So 1, 1, 12 1, 2, 8 1, 4, 4 Ayun, common na yung 1, 4, 4 Try natin si 36 kung meron siyang multiple na 1, 4, 4 36 72 1, 0, 8 Yon, 144. So, automatic since yun yung una nating nakitang nag-common sa kanilang tatlo, yung 144, yan na yung LCM nila. Therefore, ang LCM ay 144. So, kung napansin nyo, kung listing method yung gagamitin natin sa LCM, ba sa 16, napakahaba o napakarami nating multiples na nasulat bago natin mahanap yung common sa kanilang tatlo. So, napakahabang process ang gagawin natin pag listing method. Pero, kung yung general method, mas madali. So, let's try to solve. Ha? Apply natin yung general method. So, 16, we have prime factorization of 2 to the 4th, right? 4... 24, we have prime factorization of 2 cube times 3. For 36, we have prime factorization of 2 squared, 3 squared. Then, GCF, hanapin natin yung common sa tatlo. So, 2 lang yung common sa tatlo, right? So, we write 2. And then, ang rule sa GCF, gamit yung general method, piliin natin yung lowest exponent na nag-appear doon sa common factor. So, ano yung lowest exponent na nag-appear doon sa common factor? 2, right? So, we have 2 square. And therefore, 2 square is equal to 4, which tallies with our answer na 4 sa GCF, gamit yung listing method. Sa LCM naman, List natin yung common then which is 2, right? And then, common din yung 3 sa dalawa. So, considered common yun pag LCM ang consider natin. Sa LCM naman, uh, after natin makita yung mga common, hanapin naman daw natin yung uh, greatest exponent na nag-appear dun sa common factor. So, sa 2, we have 4, right? And then sa 3, we have 2, right? And then multiply natin yung dalawa. 2 to the 4 times 3 squared. So we have 144, which is the same as what we get from the listing method. So kung mapapansin nyo, mas madali yung general method kapag malalaki na yung numbers. Since hindi na tayo kailangan mag-list ng multiples. Ang gagawin lang natin ay prime factorization lang. So, this is the process of finding the GCF and LCM of numbers gamit ang listing method. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa bigyan na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.